friends. There is one man in Corsica that even Gennato fears. A man who is ready to lead us if we will follow him. The Duke of Cassini. Yeah. That's off to His Excellency, Baron Gennato. You there. Your name? Emilio Vacchi. I'm a blacksmith. One moment, nephew. Let the fellow say what's on his mind. I can't understand you taking such a chance, Uncle. If I didn't take chances, I'd still be a blacksmith. And you, with all your education, would still be struggling along on a lieutenant's pay. All over the island, our police are arresting agitators who shot the name of the Duke of Cassini. Patience, nephew, patience. It's a serious matter, Uncle. We ought to get rid of him right away. Why should I make a martyr out of the Duke? We're keeping a watch on his estate, aren't we? Night and day. You know, I have a feeling the next time Cassini leaves his villa, Providence will come to my aid. Who knows? Perhaps he'll be attacked by bandits. Colonel Nerva, we've just sighted the Duke of Cassini's carriage. Uncle Cesar is psychic cousin. He predicted Providence would come to his aid. Where is it headed? They turned up the road to the Franchi place. Well, get with it, Sergeant. We don't want to delay an act of Providence. The Duke of Cassini's funeral was held at 11 o'clock this morning. Oh, sad affair. Did my floral wreath make an impression? A sensation, Excellency. The biggest one of all. <laughs> Good. Next item. Ah! What is that, a razor? Gypsy Carnival from Italy. Request permission to tour the island. Granted. They may amuse my people. Next. Now that all the nobles, even Count Franchi, whose loyalty you doubted, have sent their expressions of allegiance, the time has come to legalize your regime. You know, I was thinking that myself. Send out a proclamation to that effect. That won't do, Excellency. Why not? You need the recognition of the King of France. Oh, France has forgotten all about us. But, Excellency, once you have the King's sanction, Corsica is yours for life. My boy, I'm proud of you. You're beginning to think like a Gennato. Why not? I've had a good teacher, Uncle. <laughs> I'll write His Majesty a letter. It just happens that I spent most of last night preparing a draft that might serve the purpose. I think it includes all your ideas. Good. Good. Let's hear it. To His Most Sacred Majesty, Charles X, King of France. I, Baron Cesar Gennato, Acting Chief of State, I'm sure the King of France will be deeply impressed. It Presents his compliments. Count Franchi, were you riding on the Ayacho Road this afternoon? Why, yes, Baron, I was. You are very careless, my friend. In what way? You lost your sword. This is yours, I believe. Hinting. It was reported to me you led the attack. You were? You see, nephew, he admits it. No, Baron, you're wrong. Well, he did. I suppose he shot you off your horse. Well, well, that explains everything. From now on, I'm going to see to it personally. Nephew, put a guard around the estate. It is necessary. Otherwise, I'd be worrying about you day and night. With such a ravishing bride, definitely. Good evening, my friends. Charming people, the Franchis. You didn't believe that bandit story of his, did you, Uncle? <laughs> Far be it for me to accuse a man in the presence of such a lovely wife. Cut, secret agents or handbill collectors. You don't have to bring these to me. The streets are knee-deep in them. But what do you know about them? Nothing. Do you know where they're printed? 
No. Do you know who pays for them? No. Do you know who distributes them? No. But yes, Your Excellency. Ah. But who? We suspect Count Mario Franchi. Franchi again. I suppose he led the attack on the pack train and left this for me as a souvenir. We have reason to believe so. Idiot. You're lying to cover your incompetence. Now, get out! You suppose Franchi could have slipped by the guards? Not a chance. I get daily reports. He's never once left the villa. I'm tired of these rumors and reports about Franchi. He's either with us or against us. But, Uncle, surely you don't believe in his pretended allegiance? Do you think I'm a fool? But he signed a pledge of loyalty. The time has come to make him live up to it. Bliss. Countess, your beauty overwhelms me as always. My dear Franchi, you don't know how glad I am to see you up and around. The pleasure is mutual, Baron. Won't you join us? If you're sure we're not inconveniencing you. Why, no, of course not. Knowing your devotion to my regime, I've arranged to have you appear with me at an important public ceremony. What is the occasion? Oh, tomorrow they're unveiling my statue in the plaza of Ayacho. You were going to make the unveiling speech. Don't let that worry you. My clever nephew will have written it down for you. Afterwards, you and your charming bride will be my guests of honor. The pleasure will be all mine. You know, it'll be a great stroke for Corsica. It'll put an end to those outrageous rumors. Rumors? Yes. Our enemies have been spreading it around that you, my good and loyal friend, are leading those rebellious cutthroats and bandits. How terrible. It's just as well that everybody knows that a, a man can't be in two places at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, dear, what is it? It's nothing. I'm all right. It's, it's just these spasms of pain in my shoulder. You'd have thought you were killing somebody. It's nothing serious. He's still weak from the loss of blood. If you'll excuse us, I'll have him taken up to bed. Well, of course, dear lady. Perhaps he needs a change of doctors. If you like, I'll send over my Surgeon General in the morning. Oh, no, please. Dr. Paoli is quite capable and an old friend. As you like. But we mustn't have anything interfere with the unveiling ceremony. I'm counting on you both. Perhaps Franchi's sudden illness is only an excuse to avoid tomorrow's ceremony. He'll attend if we have to tie him to his horse. passage you told me about. Well, good evening, Countess. All right. Here with some men, Uncle. We'll find that secret passage if we have to tear down every wall. Why waste the effort? Burn the place down. Turned into clouds. Dark clouds. What does that mean? Rain? Come out and give him 30 lashes. Frenchy's retreat. Your Excellency, there's something you must know at once. Prince Bannon is an imposter. He's Count Franchi. Look, there he's taking his wife towards the gate.
Sorry to interrupt your stroll, Countess, but His Excellency would like an immediate audience. I wouldn't do that, Frenchie. Guards. Now tell me. A very attractive costume, Countess, but hardly the thing for tonight's reception. As for you, we don't need a crystal ball to foretell your future, Count Franchi. Take him to the dungeon. Whatever rascal this Franchi is. I see fighting in the streets. Your soldiers are dying. And all the time he knew the granary raid was taking place at his own order. Yes, Uncle, he not only knew about the raid, but who was leading it. Which is more than we do, I'm sorry to say. Huh. You mean that nonsense about a double for Franchi? We've got the only Count Franchi there is. And if it wasn't for spoiling tonight's reception, I'd have him hanged immediately. Sir, Lieutenant Vargo has a report to make about the leader of the Granary Raid. Lieutenant? Excellency, my patrol and... Sir. That settles it. There are two of them, the Franchi twins. But, Uncle... Lucien Franchi died five years ago in Marseille. A man who can read the future in a glass ball could very well have brought him back to life. We'll pay him a visit. You see, Franchi, my friend, the beauty of this homemade strapado of mine is that when one leg becomes numb with pain, we can start over with the other. Then there is each arm in turn. Or even one finger at a time, Uncle. Very good, Nerva. A happy thought. Well, Franchi, I have only one question to ask you about this mysterious double of yours who makes it possible. I count, but not good enough. What I want to know is this. Is it by... Don't be a fool, Franchi. Speak! Is it your brother? Dead. He's only fainted. We're wasting time trying to get anything out of him. We'll hang him in the morning. Mm -hmm.